This is a video for how to create the second of the tough ISOs drawings. So you'll notice in this shape um, we have a lot of kind of complex geometry in regards to triangles, a lot of location dimensions. So what we're going to do first is we want to create this kind of L shape in here that's the wide L shape from side to side. So what we want to do is draw ourselves a line that is 20, I would say 120 by 80 by 35. So we're going to have to go, go into Inventor and this is going to be in metric. So we're going to go to File and go to New Metric and this is going to be in millimeters. And we're going to click on our pencil and we are going to start our part. So our first drawing is going to be one, uh, first dimensions is going to be 120 to the right and 80 up. So I'm going to go to my line command and I'm going to click and I'm going to drag over 120 enter go to the word front and go up 80 and hit enter and I'm going to click on front for zoom all on our dimensions we went from or up here at this part we're going to come over a distance of 35 so I'm going to go to the left 35 and hit enter now we went up 20 over here and this is 80 so we're going to come down a distance of 60 to this part over here so let's go back to inventor I'm going to go down a distance of 60 I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to come right over until I hit my Y axis and we're going to click and then we're going to close this off and we're going to say finish sketch and we're going to click on our house and notice again I kind of want to move my view cube around a little bit I want this to be my isometric view we're going to right click set current view as home and go to fit to view and let's go back to our drawing here we're going to extrude this back a distance of 70 so we're going to go to extrude and we're going to flip directions and I'm going to put in 70 excuse me I'm gonna put in 70 to enter and there we have the beginning bare bones frame of our object now one of the things you'll notice is over here on the side we have this cut that goes into the object right here now you might think we want to draw it on the sides and cut it back but what we're actually going to do is we're going to draw this on the top of the object so we're going to come in here and we're going to go to our pencil we're going to click on the top of the object right here. And this kind of flipped it around. I like to use my view cube to find a view that I like. And I'm going to look straight down on the object. And we're going to come up and click on two point rectangle. And we're going to click and just kind of drag off the object. Notice that I drag off the object a lot, mainly because I don't have to worry about lining these up. I, if I'm going to cut something, like if I use a chainsaw to cut a tree, I don't have to line it up with the end of the tree. I just have to make sure my location dimensions are correct. So we'll notice that from here in is 25. We're going to go to dimension from here to here is going to be 25 and hit enter. We're going to go back. The distance in from the sides is going to be 10. Dimension from here to here, click 10, enter. From here to here, click 10, enter. Finish your sketch. Let's go back to our drawing and see how far down this goes. Now this goes all the way down 75. You see the five dimension here? It's 80 from top to bottom. We're going to go down a distance of 75. Extrude, cut, cut, 75, and hit enter. Cool. We now have this. So our next thing we want to do is we want to chamfer off this side. And we have two chamfer distances. This is going to be 30. This distance would be 30. And this distance right here is going to be 45. 35 from 80 is 45, and this right here will be 30. So we can do that within the features toolbar up here for modify. We're going to click on chamfer, and you have these options on the left-hand side, and there's an option right here for two distances. And what we want to do is we're going to click on each of these, each of these edges. should be on two different edges. Now we can just keep it here. That's fine. I can go for distance one. I'm going to go to 30, uh, 30 excuse me. Distance one, I'm going to go to 30. The other distance is going to be 45. Now you'll notice that this one goes back too far. These are flipped. If I want to flip them, I want to click right here and do that. This is, these are the correct dimensions. You can tell that this obviously is going to be shorter than that. And you notice this is going to be longer than this button right here. Notice how I use this button to flip those. I use chamfer. That's a good way to subtract mass off of an object. And we're going to go ahead and say, okay. And we now have this back part kind of cut off. What we can do next is we want to draw this triangle right here. Now, we could drag ourselves a work plane down off the object like this, but we can also kind of do some addition um, to kind of figure out how far down we need to go. So this will, so let's just use work planes. I kind of like teaching work planes anyway. It's a good way to get in the habit of doing things. So let's come up to our plane icon and we're going to click and drag down. We're just going to go to 25. We're just going to go to negative 25. So let's go negative 
25 and hit enter and we're going to go to our pencil and let's go ahead and click on that work plane and it's going to flip I'm going to right click and slice my graphics just so I can see what surface that I'm looking at so I'm going to kind of move this around a little bit use my view cube so I can get a good look at it let's go straight down on top of the object you can do whatever you wish I just like to do mine like this we're going to go up to project cut edges and let's take a look at this um, line right here so let's go back to our drawing we have to come in 40 this way so we're going to go up to our line command and go to our left hand side and we're going to come in a distance of 40 and I'm at 40 and hit enter I'm just going to come over here and just click on this line right here and we're just going to drag in and close off this triangle I can come up here to dimension and click on this line and drag it out and let's go back to our drawing and that is going to be 50 I go back to inventor I put in 50 and I hit enter and that is the triangle that we see right here I'm just looking straight down in a 2d view I like looking in a 2d view sometimes it makes things a little bit easier so again we're gonna go up to extrude I'm gonna click inside the object and I'm gonna flip the direction and I'm gonna say just go to next go until you hit something and say okay and we now have that I didn't have to put in a distance I didn't have to worry about that using to next means go until you hit something works really well we're gonna right click on work plane one and we're gonna go to visibility Let's go back to the drawing we want to draw this shape this kind of parallelogram shape right here and we want to drag a work plane down 15 off of this object so let's go up to work plane let's click here and drag straight down and I got to go negative 15 and hit enter and let's come over to work plane 2 this is the work plane you were working on right here and we're gonna right click and just go to new sketch and it'll flip on us let's right click let's go to slice graphics Notice that'll show you the cross-sectional area where that cut was. Go up to project cut edges and project all the yellow that we want. Now, this next um, object that we, this next object we want to draw, you know, has a distance that we can infer from the other distances. So we have 50 plus 35 is 85. 85 from 120 is 35. So, so it says 35 plus 35 is 70 plus 80 is 120 so we have another 35 millimeter line long line to draw so we're going to go up to our line command and we're going to click here we're going to drag out and we're going to put in 35 and hit enter right out to here and we're going to say okay now it looks like that was in that looks like that came right off of that side let's go back to here real quick so that was 50 we have 35 we have 50 this one should come all the way out oh this is oh plus 15 I missed this part down here so it's actually gonna be 50 so I said 35 to here I looked at 120 and I missed this 15 so it's actually gonna wind up being 50 so let's go back made a mistake let's go to the line command and we're gonna come right here and we're gonna drag off and we're gonna go 50 and hit enter and we can go ahead and just drag ourselves a line up about about here and have it come right into our object right about here make sure the line goes straight and runs right into that let's just draw another line over the top connecting these two points and we can come back and dimension where everything is in its location dimensions um, now so it's 35 in from here to here so we're gonna have to create for ourselves some kind of a distance gap here that's gonna be 15 so we have to figure out a way to find out how do we go 35 in from the side to find that beginning point of that line so what we can do is we can use the point command so I'm gonna grab a hold of the point command and somewhere along here I'm just gonna place a point I'm gonna right click and say okay let's go back to the drawing the distance in from here to here is going to be 70 minus 40 notice how 40 comes in here so it's gonna be 30 from here to here let's come back let's go to dimension from here to here it's gonna be a distance of 30 and I had you place a point when I'd forgotten about this dimension let's go and just let's just delete that point real quick the distance from here to here is our distance we need to find out so we have 35 in from the side in so 35 plus 15 is gonna be 50 we can just do that this way so we're gonna to go to dimension from here to here and we're gonna click and we're gonna go 50 I'm gonna go five zero and hit enter and you'll notice that now that's pushed that back here 35 plus 15 is 50 we now have the distance of this line we have this long um, diagonal line over here and we found the distance of this at first I was gonna have you use a point but I figured we could also use it through existing coordinate geometry and we were able to do so we're gonna go to finish sketch what we want to do next is we're gonna to go to extrude
and where it says distance we're going to go down to two and we're going to go to the bottom of the object and we're going to click on this surface we should be able to click on this surface so i go to dist i haven't clicked inside the surface yet have i i got to go to profile click inside the surface now i can flip it and now i can go to the word two i just hadn't clicked inside i got ahead of myself a little bit i'm going to click on the bottom of the object we have the surface we projected it down we say okay turn off the visibility of this work plane and we now have the object that we see in tough isos 2. so you'll notice kind of as i go through the process of making these you notice me thinking out loud a little bit but mainly it's just trying to process the different ways to go about doing this now there's more than one way to make a lot of these parts you might think of a different way to do it but this is the uh, process i use i always try to start out with a solid and do some form of subtractive and then we had to do additive modeling with this triangle and then with this other shape over here but in walking through the process we were able to arrive at the correct um, part at the end. So this has been a video for how to create tough ISOs number two.